Hi, I'm Mark Lostube. It's Chrissy, finally a farm girl, and Linda, Stitchy Linda. And we are here today to celebrate with you 100 floss tube episodes. So, yeah. Cheers. I couldn't come up with something that uh, would work out well for us to cheers to besides coffee. And at this point, I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, I think first we should, we would want to thank everybody that's, that's followed us. Um, it's been quite a journey. And, you know, I'm so thankful that Linda decided to to jump on board and we certainly have a good time doing this yeah. and we're just glad that you're here to follow along. So we have a really fun hundredth episode in the, as much as uh, she has done some traveling and just yeah. got back to share with you. I don't think I traveled anywhere, but I am going to be traveling. So yeah. I get to talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Um, and Let's all say happy birthday to Miss Linda because that happened as well. What day? Last what? Thursday. Yeah. Last Thursday. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, without further ado, we will get started. Yeah. And she has the notes. This is why I keep her around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I have them all, but I have a pen to add to them in case I don't. <laughs> so, I, what's I, happening with you? Well, I, I went back and looked. Because I was trying to figure out last time we were together, and it's been almost two months. I can't believe that. Has it been that long? No. I know that's what I said, but I looked at the end of February we were together, and then... You did one, and then I did one. It's been at least over a month. It has been over a month. Yeah, Yeah. yeah, Yeah. for sure that. But, yeah, it's been kind of crazy. I've been uh, right after, I think, maybe while you had filmed, or right after you had filmed, I was in Utah. And my friend Diana and I went out for the Stitch West with Snug Harbor Crafts, and, mm-hmm. and Devin kept it a wonderful job. First time I've big. been to a Stitch West, yes, it was very big. And this time they did it in downtown Ogden, which okay. was wonderful. We The retreat didn't start till Friday, and we left on a Wednesday because we wanted some extra time. Right. So we flew in Wednesday um, to Salt Lake. And then we went to the shop called Pine Needles. Mm-hmm. And Pine Needles is really more, they do have cross stitch, and it, and it looks like it's growing, but there are an awful lot of quilting stuff in there. Okay. So we shopped in Pine Needles and then made our way up to Ogden. Um, and we thought we'd be smart on Wednesday afternoon and get into <laughs> Shepherd's Bush early, which we did, and it wasn't, it wasn't too crowded. So we did the majority of our shopping, and I've got, Paul, I'll share later. Okay. <laughs> and then Stitch West, and then we went back on Thursday, um, and then Stitch West started Friday. It was great. I I think, I don't remember how many. It may have been 150, although it may have been 200. I don't remember. Yeah, it was a big group. Yeah. It was a, yeah. It was in like a convention center that was right next to the hotel that we were staying at, right in downtown Ogden, and just blocks to Shepherd's Bush. Right. Beautiful. I mean, the one thing that I got off the plane that just amazes you is everywhere you look around you, there are mountains. Mm -hmm. Some have snow on them, some don't, but it's just, every time you look, every time I took a picture, it seems like there was mountains in it. It blows your mind. Oh, it's just, yeah. I mean, I've been to the North Georgia mountains and I've been, you know, up to, but not like those. Right. Yeah. They're just. No, they're different. Yeah. Yeah. Smoky mountains are definitely different than when you're out. Denver, Colorado, oh. all of those. Oh, yeah. And I will say that the air did get to me a little bit because it was very, very dry. And I had a hard time adjusting yeah. to that for a while. But <laughs> And it, it took me a while to get back to adjust to it. But fine to get into. And I ran across Suzanne. You remember Suzanne mm-hmm. from StitchCon. Mm-hmm. And so we sat and chatted, and then we ended up at her table with her oh, friends. Yeah. And a couple, a lady who had never been to a retreat before. Aww. She was from Denver. And then two other ladies, um, one California, and I believe one from Utah. And then friends of Debbie's, uh, of Debbie's, friends of Suzanne's that mm-hmm. were there, and they were a lot of fun. We had a good table. We yeah. had a good table. Yeah. So the pictures looked really fun. Yeah, the pictures yeah. were fun. So other than that, I guess I just want to say um, thank you to everybody that came up and introduced themselves. It was just really, really sweet to put faces yeah. to names. You know, you have the 
fortunate part of knowing who I am, but I don't know who you are. Right. And it's 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 a little weird at first when that happens, but I love people walking <laughs> up and saying hello. And, yeah. It's and and I mean from that point on, then it feels like it's a little bit of a different relationship. Right. Because now you've got that that whole moment in yeah. time, and yeah. it's just that much easier. Um, and then I, when you get to see people again at a retreat, then it's, I don't know, it's just like this great reunion. Oh, yeah, so. yeah. And uh, a lot of people that I saw that I recognized, it was nice. To, I, I sat and chatted for a while with Tony from Kentucky, and I'd met her at StitchCon before, mm -hmm. and she's just the sweetest, and it's funny. The more we chatted, the more we realized we had so much in common, so that Aww. was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, just a big thank you to Deb and Kep. They really did a phenomenal job. Um, I'll have some things I'm going to share about uh, some of the stuff we got, and then... I guess just last weekend, was it last weekend? I had Sit and Stitch Ocala. And that was big. And that was a big one. That is really getting big. That it is was a, full. Would you call that a spin-off of what yes. Jean did? Yeah. Uh, you know, at Brick, our LNS, you, she does the weekend the retreats. Days. And right. she used to do a, she, she tried a, a one-day retreat. And it. I think that's just a little bit much. Yeah. You know, so it's a spin-off by a couple of girls. And so, yeah, Michelle and Teresa kind of been helping Jean out through the process of the retreats. And so they had asked if they could take it over, and it was great. And they did a good job. We had a lot of drawings, door prizes. Yeah. They had a raffle. We had about 40, and she had a waiting I list. I think that's great. And she's actually looking for a bigger location. Yeah, yeah. I think that's. It's, I think it's going to be. Great. And again, a lot of new people that I had met, met before. A lot mm -hmm. of new people. So it's always good to see the new faces. Right, and, right. And then during that, Jean had a sale at the shop of fifty percent fabric. So there was a lot of people leaving and coming back to, to go watch good. the fabric. Yeah, yeah it's out win win. And we ended up with a few pieces too yeah. that we'll share later. Yeah. <laughs> And she then you know, that, same, some. that same weekend, you had the pop-up retreat. Yeah, I did. Uh, um, I was part of the Annabella's pop-up retreat that she just recently had, and I guess that would have been the spring one. Mm -hmm. I did the winter, and that was the one where I was one of the designers, and this time I was a vendor. And I it was kind of nice because I got to participate a little more as if I was, there. you know, yeah, part of the retreat. Um, so I think... You know, after you do a couple of them, you start to kind of get used to it. And that day, I got to spend some time with some new people and meet somebody from Florida and uh, some time with Amanda from Soulful Creations, where we all love her little oh, zip-up yeah. travel. Yeah. They, I call it a travel bag because that's what I use them for. Um, They're just perfect for that. So, and uh, got to see that. And uh, Stitching with the Housewives was the designer for that. So it's just, you know, it's fun to watch all. It, the only thing that gets me sometimes is when you're in a, I don't think there's anything they could do about it, but it's kind of like when you're in a booth and you get used to it, but there's a hundred people. Oh. And as that person talks and you're. You're trying to figure yeah, out. Yeah, I'm like, who's, who's old? Yeah, who's I saw talking? her. Yeah. I would see somebody I knew and then they would, uh -huh. it was, you just you can't, you know. Yeah. You're being quiet um, just because you've got a guest that's talking. But, yeah, it's like all of a sudden I was like, oh, there's Ooh, a oh, yeah. okay, no, she's gone. <laughs> that's the only thing yeah. I wish I could stop. Um, so, luckily, I had Amanda's uh, phone number so I could text her and say, hey, I just saw you pop up. And she goes, you too. Where'd you go? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> so it's that little internet space yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah. But it's, um, it was, it's a lot of fun. I got to do... Uh, so and this time I sat and stitched for a, oh. a good a good chunk of it. Good. And of course Randy's like, oh, hard day at work, eh? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the perks. It's the perks. I actually so, got stitching done at that Ocala retreat too. Well, you were filling in water, yeah. which I can't no, wait to see. I no, was, not, I think mm -mm, I was working on the Prairie Schooler Saturday. Yeah. I took that just yeah. to try to get some of those trees done. So I, th <laughs> I think it's later. I think it's a little funny because I'm, I'm sitting here thinking to myself because I haven't seen you in a while. I, know, I mean, while. it just happens. We talk every day, yeah. but, but it's so funny because I'm like, her hair's really growing out, and I think that's funny because when I think about. A hundred episodes ago, my hair was down to here. Mm -hmm. You know, we when you 
do this for this long, I mean, the weight goes like this. <laughs> the hair <laughs> goes like this. Yeah, and I was you know, like, music. Right? Yeah. All the, all the changes that, that, that you go through. And yeah. it's fun to look back when I was uh, doing her birthday pictures. Oh, it's yeah. Some of those pictures back. I forgot all about. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm like, it was funny. her hair was short at that stitch time, <laughs> yeah. you know? So, yeah. anyways, but. It was fun. Well, then, I guess Wednesday, I did go to the shop to stitch. They had a little birthday party for me. So, Laura made this beautiful, Ooh. yummy chocolate cake, which was great. Peter stopped by. I had no idea he was going to stop Aww, by, but he told nice. he said, to, I said to him, what are you doing here? He said, well, you said there'd be cake. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> so, he yeah. showed up. Uh, that was nice. And then Thursday was your dad's birthday. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thursday then, was the big... The big official release for me of Dear Soldier because that was my dad's um, right. that was my dad's birthday and uh, last year I'm <laughs> last year I missed hers by a day because <laughs> I swore it was on my dad's birthday so when I called her up to say happy birthday she was like mm hmm that was, she was kind <laughs> and I'm like oh my god I forgot her birthday <laughs> I thought it was the same day so this year man yeah. I was all on top of that but um yeah he he, he we celebrated. Tonight, we're going to go out oh, to okay. dinner. tonight. Okay. Yeah, Brandy and I are going to go to dinner with my dad Good. and Julie. And it was just, um, you know, it was exciting to finally finish the whole journey of it. Yeah. I knew people had seen, seen it fully disclosed because the shops could. But there was just something nice for me to be able to hold mine for his birthday since sure. it was his gift. And then uh, Tina, uh, Team Egner was you know fun to be part of that, yeah, that so was great. she she now has um i went ahead and she has shipped up some of the patterns hard copy patterns to tina so she can sell the patterns with her thread drops going forward oh, originally good. we had offered them to the shops together right. and a lot of people did it that way and it was a lot of fun but of course we can't i can't continue you know no. to, to do that so now if in you know, if perchance you still want to get the, the pattern and the floss drops together, you can go to Tina's shop and she's got it under one oh, listing cool. as a set. That's cool. You can still buy her drops separate because they're patriotic and they're great for everything patriotic. Or you can buy just my pattern separate from her. So it's another place um, to go on her Etsy shop. But it was it was really fun. And it, you know, looks really good in my dad's. Uh, it's hanging in my dad's den. He has kind of like a patriotic corner with a patriotic quilt and oh, nice. my grandfather's flag from where he served uh -huh. so it, it, it looked good and I, I mean I really I had a really good time reading everybody's comments of who there they're gonna stitch for comments, I yes I mean you have some families that so many served so and I just I love I love reading that it, it really makes it all you know, worthwhile. Yeah, so that was good. Yeah, it was good. That was Friday. That and then Saturday, you were back at the shop, correct? Yeah, I went back yesterday. Um, Peter's mom and dad came down, and um, we didn't get to stitch much. She shopped. Yeah, um, I would so have loved to have met her. Yeah, and his dad stayed, too, so we chatted. Oh, that, that was oh, nice. Oh, okay, that yeah, was that nice. Was really good. And um, we're working on that sal that I'll show a little bit later. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, that was fun, too. Yeah, yeah. I just, I don't know why I envision her being so petite. No. She is like, so just funny. shorter than him. just like his dad. Really? Oh, yeah. oh how cool. Yeah. And Aww. we, yeah, I sat and chatted with his dad for a while. It was really Aww. interesting there. I didn't realize that the farm that they're on, it goes back, I think he told me, seven generations. Holy cow. Yeah. So See, really I just kind of love cool to hear all that. Yeah. That is so cool. So that was, yeah, kind of what's happened to us the last couple of weeks, I guess. Yeah. I, I found the antique store in Ocala. Oh, yeah, I you think did. during that time I did that, and that was, yeah. like, so fun. Like, beyond That's a good fun. store. Oh, my gosh. And then Jen, Sweet Chaos Stitcher, I think it was last Sunday, her and her daughter escaped, and they did dig, Diggins, Diggers, Diggers Antiques. Oh, Diggers. Diggers. Yeah. They did that. Holy cow. Um, Gonna need to go there. <laughs> so... That was cool. Yeah. Um, anyways, so yeah, it's been busy. But how yeah, about you? You want to do your haul? Like, yeah. You want to show them some goodies? Uh, well, I kind of saved that to the end because it's at the bottom. Oh, it's you want to do whips? Do you have any whips? I do. Oh, I wait do. a minute. Let's do finishes. Okay. 
finishes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I'll keep to my notes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you just keep us in track. Okay. Finishes. Show. Okay. So I don't know if you want to share this, any other yeah, story of this, but um, this is the second piece. Mm -hmm. And um, so this, I don't even know the name of it. I think it might be called Prairie Schooler Alphabet. Maybe. I'm, I'm not, not sure. I'm not sure, but... The story behind this is well, about, can you a, yeah, 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 you're good. I think that looks good. A couple of months ago, a lady came in to Brick City with bags of finished pieces, mm. all on 40 count, mostly gorgeous, gorgeous pieces she can no longer see. They were unfinished, um, so many different kinds of finishes, but just gorgeous. I can't tell you yeah. gorgeous. Um so she can see the stitch on like 10 count now. So she is okay. doing that. Okay. But she knew that she would never be able to frame all these pieces. And she wanted them to go okay. to a good home. People that would love them like she loved them. And Chrissy showed one in her last floss too. Yeah, 13 colonies. Um, yes, and that was... So what happened is we the girls that were there, it was on a Wednesday, we started going through them. And I pulled out a couple of pieces that I knew Chrissy would love. Mm -hmm. Um a lot of her style, and I only wanted to take the ones that I truly, truly thought would yeah. get framed. Yeah. Um, and I grabbed this one and then the 13 colonies, and it, yeah. they just were beautiful. And what we did is any of us that took them, we made a donation to the nonprofit. Oh, okay. Uh, Jean's nonprofit, uh, which is Interfaith Services. Yeah. And, I mean, but this turned out gorgeous. I just, I, I but so what I did was each time I go to take one of mine, you know, especially like a, I kind of treat myself. When I go to get a business model. one model framed, I take a fun one. Yeah. Um, so even though I love, you know, some of mine, they tend to do more time off the wall than on the wall. Sure. So this was really special and they deserve to be honored. And I absolutely loved this. Um, She's a beautiful stitcher. Oh, absolutely. I, I just, it, it right now it, it hangs on my sampler wall and it's next to, kind of next to the ones you, you did for me with the friends. Uh -huh. um, anyways, but the frame I just thought that was frame is beautiful. So yeah, that cool frame is beautiful. With, it. Um, with a little bit of gold. Just enough. Yeah. And the 13 colonies. Oh, yeah. oh, that was gorgeous. And I saw somebody on Floss too. Ooh, getting ready to start. Oh, it was Carol, Saltbox Stitcher, I think. Oh. She had pulled it out and was going to start it, and she was talking about this section in the middle, how gorgeous it was. Mm, it, it, it is. It, it's it's just, beautiful. I, I, it, it actually is one of my favorite things, I think, in my house. It hangs separately on, like, one wall, and it, our, our living room has that is painted in that uh, gr green color mm -hmm. that I would have never really picked on my own, but it, it stands it out good with, really yes. good. Yes. So, yeah, that's my only that I can share FFO. Okay, well, let's see here. I should have probably moved these things around a little bit more where I can get to them. <laughs> I guess, first of all, let me show this. This was what we got at Stitch West from the Primrose Cottage Girls, and I don't know if I mentioned that, but Primrose Cottage was the guest designer. What a great bunch of ladies. Um, at at Utah, Stitch West. Yes, okay. And they came around and sat at each table. One of them did with us in Stitch for a while. And to listen to their story was really fun. And this was our piece, and it was uh, honeybees and stitching, please. Okay. And we got, I gotta tell we you, got all of this the one. fibers. This one that. on the back? Hold yeah. On. Look at I'm that in love one. with that. I know. That's <gasps> cute. And that was an extra one, too. I did not get it. Mm. Yeah, it's really cute. So is the chart for that in this? The chart isn't for the honeybees and stitching, please. But not there. this one. Not that one. This that is a coordinated yeah. piece. Can you work on that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh I don't know that it's been released yet, but this came with it. Okay, and so the, you and get like an even weave? Yeah, 25 okay. count, actually. And then all of the fibers, and she did say that it was enough to do the piece on the back. All Ooh. of the backing, to all the finishing for it. So that was really nice. Yeah, and again, I, I just took, and they had that. their whole shop there. I mean, their yeah. whole, all their models. The, the, on the social media, when it, she came across, she's like something, something where they said every model yeah. that we have is here. Yeah. I was like, that is some table. Yeah. 
So that was my that was what Those we got colors. from Stitch West a lot. And I I didn't bring everything because there and I'll mention her. There is a girl that actually Christy from Floss Boss and Cousins mentioned mm -hmm. the other day, and her name oh I've got her written down here somewhere is um uh, or did I let's see. Anyway, I'll, I'll try to remember to stick it in the comments, but Christy had referred to her. She's a new floss tuber, and she did a complete review. I mean, a complete review. Um, Burn Stitches is her name. Okay. Burn Stitches. She's on floss tube. B-U-R-N? B-E-R-N. Burn okay. Stitches. Okay. And if you want to see everything, she showed everything. She showed Oliver Hall from, from Shepherd's Bush and everything. So wow. that was really great. Well, I really like that. Yeah, that's cute. I really like that. So finishes. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> These I had actually planned on finishing at Stitch West, but I broke my own rule. This is Frosty Tiny Town. Mm -hmm. And typically I only stitch fill-in at retreats because I know I'm going to make a mistake. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I picked it up and I thought... Um, I can finish this when I got to the very left side because I'd started in the middle and I was off. So I brought it home and finished it at home. It's on um, 32 count vintage stormy night, which I did it on the non-modeled side. As you can see, the other side's modeled. And um, see how that is? Yeah, the other side's modeled. And I really liked it on the plain side, I thought, better. Because I thought it just kind of stood... Oh, that looks really cute. Oh, That's so like adorable. It. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to make it into a drum or are you going to do your straight It's going to do this. It's going to be the flat fold. I'm going to send it to... Maybe I'll send it with you. I don't yeah, know if you've got is, anything going to do. I do. Okay. I mean, I, I, yeah. I have probably more of a pickup than I do a drop-off. Okay. But I also know Jen has drop-offs, too. Oh, good. So yeah, I'll, I'll send it to Terry. I, I love the way she did the flat folds on the other two yeah. that I did. So, yeah. That it is, uh, it is the fabric. Uh huh. I think so. It is gray. truly this fabric that you pick. I that do believe because the white off. pops on it, and uh, yeah, I love that. And then I finished. I did, and again, did not finish at Stitch West. This is my version of Summer Quaker. Did you eat this? Yeah, it looks like it doesn't. It? <laughs> I don't know if the dog, dog got a hold of it or what happened to it. But just kind of. It is. Yeah. And I, I'm not a Quaker person, and I really loved just the center portion of it. So I did just the center portion of it, but I had to make some adjustments to it. Um, and I'll hold up the pattern, because you'll see. Um, mm, it looks amazing. Yeah, so the words are what I changed. I wanted the words, but I did not want that green, I guess it's a seaweed border around it. So I had to make some adjustments at the top to get all of that to fit in, mm -hmm. the top line. And I thought I lined it up really good because I lined it up to the sun. If you look at the sun, it's because I really want to frame it where it butts right up to it. Yeah. Um, but then I realized that there it was about five stitches off as you went down the right-hand side. So I had to kind of extend some of the designs. Like there's a fish there. Yeah. I had to extend him. Okay. I had to extend some of that seaweed um, and a few other little things up in the water top. So I had to extend it just so that it would even out with the sun. You know what I think from now seeing yours is, gosh, if you only wanted to stitch the lighthouse and the little the village. The lighthouse is cute and the village is cute. You could do, you yeah. could literally pull that rectangle chunk out of there yeah. ah, it's so cute it is cute and Just i love and i love the fabric um it's actually it, can't get it anymore it's 32 count refined okay. by Fortnite, and we have a, another piece coming down okay. the road that stitched on that oh, um the colors are gorgeous the colors are really pretty and actually i didn't I had Denise, uh, Nisi Stitches, uh, that mm, comes to yes. my city, came mm -hmm. up, and we were looking at it, and she and it actually called to have all of this filled in. Oh, yeah, the, by the mermaid, right? The actual... She had said, Linda, you don't need to fill that in because the yeah. colors really pop, and it's the right color. Yeah, I So agree. I decided, yeah, I think you're right. It's going to look 
fine with really, how it filled in. It's really good. And I do want to thank, and I don't remember her name, but I showed it, and somebody said, um, your sales don't have the uh, rigging on it. <laughs> and I went, oh my gosh, I, thank I, you for letting me know. I would I, have taken it to the framer, and I would have been really upset later, but thank yeah. you so much for letting me know. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. It looks really good. Yeah, I think I love, love that. Yeah, so those were the two finishes, and again, I thought I'd finish that at Stitch West, but yeah, so both of those came home and got finished. I love it. Yeah. Um, whips? I got whips. Okay. I mean, I, I'm, I'm like, it getting ready. I can't believe it. I don't understand where the year goes. I know. I don't understand, because like before, it would be like, man, it's only April. I know. Now it's like... <gasps> Okay, retreat here, Linda's retreat there, summer release is coming up here, yep. and it, it just, it changes everything. So, I did Annabella's virtual, and now I'm gearing up for, which is crazy, but it's the end of April. We're going into May. Like, that's just, that, which means my granddaughter's going to turn six. Ooh. Crazy. <sighs> which means... I go leave for Annabella's at Biltmore the 16th of May. Mm -hmm. So I'm gearing up and already printing for, for that. And then because I do that and have that big thing, then I come back and we have StitchCon. Yeah. And so you just... It's just all good. Yeah. yeah. And then there's Stitch Florida. Yep. In July. So we'll only have a little chunk there in June, but... But, I mean, StitchCon's in June. Yeah. So it's just... So I guess we'll, I'll start stitching again in October. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah, but she said the other day when she came home, after she finished a couple of her, working on a couple of her mm -hmm. summers, she says, I think I can stitch now on yeah. something else. <laughs> Which I didn't. But when I went to my dad's, um, I had started this, and I keep them kind of right now in this little bag, just to go back and forth to my dad's. But um, Blue Skin. Oh, yeah. And... This is where I'm at. This uh, I think I'm stitching. It's on uh, 16 count dapple, mm -hmm. which I thought was perfect for it. Mm -hmm. I believe it is a kitten stitcher fabric or Ada dyed Ada, but it does have a mottled look to it. It because, does, yeah, and um, it's a little bit grayer than it. Is yeah, it's, on the it's not as it's it's a blue gray. Yeah, and the white and shows I, up really good on it. Yeah, I person. do love it, and I got to start the flag on his um, back on the horse's back. On blue skin and then I thought well while I have that one mm -hmm. um, I went ahead and put I wondered if you were gonna Nelson okay. yeah I put Nelson in with with it just so that I could just move right on I really do think that I'll do pillows I yeah. like this the I like pillows the finish pillows. here and my smaller patriotic go on the tree and I'm like well then I have my dough bowl so I, I think I will do the, the, the pillows yeah um so that's it and using all the cold four colors on that. And this is one of Teresa Kogut's bag that I got. I love that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love it. My Lincoln. Uh, that's one whip. Yeah. You yeah. want to show one? No, go ahead. Uh, I did get to, I forgot, but I did get to do some more. It's it's a model. I don't want my, that, it felt like my needle got stuck on it. Oh. But anyways, um, her name is Winifred's Ride. And if you recall, when I went to meet Julie Porter of Farmhouse Cottons, when I went up to shoot, was here in Florida for a, a guild um, type meeting. And I drove up there. I had told her how much I loved Winifred's ride. Uh -huh. And so she said, hey, if you'd like to, to design it, go ahead. So it's been really fun. Um, and it's not as big as I thought, which is nice. But if you're going to get all the details, so I can at least I don't I don't mind showing you. I've had a really good time with this, and I'm just enjoying myself more. Like it's a personal stitch, but so what you've got is you can see the first boot of the witch coming through. Yeah, and then I'm filling in um, all of those at the bottom there, and so I got my first set of words, and then that is a ginormous sunflower. Oh, okay. She's riding a sunflower. Oh, cool. So I can show you because it's already out, but let me see if I can pull the picture. Oh, I remember this. It's, yes. So, yeah, this is my interpretation right. of her, of her, of her quilt. quilt. 
it's, it's like a table runner or wall hanging. But that is Winifred's ride. Oh, it's going to be cool. Uh huh. So I'm using, you know, it, it's going to be more of a prim stitch. And I'm using a good chunk of all dyed flosses. And she's riding a sunflower and sea. So instead of having those uh, little things at the end, mm -hmm. I've got them going all the way around. I had to do a few little different things just because of it being a, a you know cross stitch versus whatever. But when you see the colors of it, like they're they're kind of mm -hmm. little dreamy in there. The so the one I like is this one here, Weeks Dye Works Cognac. Yep. No, that's, that's a pretty. good color. What are you stitching that on? What? Oh, the fabric. Yeah. I'm like on, on the linen. <laughs> It's a Cafe Olay by oh, Grace, Grace Notes, Notes Fabrics. Okay. And I'm not sure if you can see that. It's, a, it's like it's, a pretty it's darker uh, than what's showing up. It, it is. It looks to me, it's, this is as close to a vintage country mocha. A little bit, a little bit yellow, yellowy, I think, yeah. maybe. Yeah. It's pretty. It's got a hint of green in it, it when you're green. And that's why I picked it, because of the sunflower leaves and stuff. So I'm, I'm getting excited. That's her. Kind of cool. Her, the design that I have in her skirt is. Whew, so now is this just going to be for a personal or is this no? It'll be for release? no. Nope, I'll release okay. and um, you know I'm looking towards fall. I'm looking towards a, a yeah. fun fall release. So, but sometimes That's I don't no mind. Reason. Oh yeah, sometimes I don't mind sharing with yeah. everyone because I'm you know it's it's going to take me a bit to to stitch it. I think I think it's going to be a fun stitch. Yeah. Uh, and, it, some, and it has been. But, there's some big yeah. blobs of color, so it's going to take mm -hmm. some time. But I was yeah. glad to get the leaves because then I can keep working on the flower and get get over to I, I was able to get over to her and yeah. her um, dress. But she's so cute. Well, that's so, so cute. Cool. Yeah, I'm having fun with Winifred. So that'll be a fall release. Um, and then the other one, I wanted to... Share was this one, which oh, I yeah, mm -hmm. So when I was, oh, yeah, when I was, I haven't seen the whole thing. No, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, cool. I love that house. I do too. I, I mean, like seriously, if people yes. just, I love that works of the. Okay, so uh, last year in Michigan, when I was at a retreat, I had the pleasure of meeting Cindy from Farmhouse Flossies, and she had. Then she dyed floss for herself, mm -hmm. and then some of her friends. I don't, you know, one day we need to have her on here uh, virtually. And then uh, some of her friends were like, "Well, why don't you? Are you gonna sell them? Why don't you? I'll, I'll take some." And, and I, I spotted, like, honed in one of Linda and our favorite reds for stitching Santas is Cupid. Yeah, and it does this great effect. And I honed in on a, she was stitching a Santa. And I'm like, oh, you're using Cupid, you know? And she's like, no, this is, um, actually, I, I dyed floss. And so she shared. I'm like, holy cow. And so over that weekend, I got to know her. I got to see her flosses. Um, we had, you know, uh, obviously then you have this friendship. And over time, um, I left with, I was vending and Jen was with me. I don't know if Jen bought some floss, but... When I left, she said, I'll send you some of the red. Um, anyways, over time, I decided, well, there was this pattern I wanted to do, and I thought it might be perfect to showcase some of her floss. So it's a work, you know, of love, per se, because I'm going to have to convert it to her floss, right. which I've got back to DMC, and then also to Weeks. So I thought it would be kind of fun because I wanted to do more of a personal one, um, a Swedish sampler, because that's my heritage. And so it was really fun to play with it. And I knew that it was going to involve some folk art, mm -hmm. Scandinavian type of colors, the yellows and the blues. So I don't mind, again, sharing it with you. And hopefully some of you will be Swedish and be so inclined to stitch it. But I'll start with the, the model. And I, the fabric is another Grace Notes. It's almond milk, mm. and I don't know if it can mm -hmm. that shows kind of... the reality. It to me, this is again, it's it, that's a vintage, in line yeah. with vintage country mocha. Yep. 
I'll get it close. So I have, you know, I wanted to make sure the, the, the inspiration behind it is the story of the dollar horse. And I will save that for when the pattern comes out. But it's a very sweet story. Uh, and so I suck with blues and the golds. And part of the story links the cabin into the woods. And then you have, um, other way here. I, I made sure to incorporate the animals that are, are there and in, in, that are native to the land. So you've got black bear and there's a particular bee and some, you know, some deer. They also have elk. And so I don't know if you can see the lavender, but I'm having fun doing this one kind of a little bit. I'm knowing that it's for me and yeah. maybe more personal right. because I've got French knots all in there with her purple and I'm not sure if it's her purple is showing up really good. Yeah, yeah I think it shows up. Is it? Good. Okay. Yeah. So these are her floss and you get 10 yards and they are gorgeous. And I promised that I would share some of what my favorites were. I can tell you right off the back because not, like I told her, not everybody is going to be able to afford to to do what I have uh, in order to completely do a okay. pattern if they want to. Right. So there's a lot of this that you could just trade out for DMC or whatever. But my favorites that would be fun to have are Black Cat, um, which I don't know if there's something that can show better. There's Black Cat. That looks a lot like soot to me mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. I've used that. Um, so that to me is, is a perfect easy one to do. And you're getting 10 yards. I wonder you're, you're getting, getting these. Yeah, you're getting bigger. 10 yards of this. And then I love grungy gold. I loved it from the minute I saw it. You can see there's some maybe a little bit of darkness in there. Mm -hmm. So it's perfect for a bee. It's, it's you know, it's a lot like ye old gold. Um, it is not as much as it is whiskey. It's close. I mean, it's very close. Oh, yeah. But do you see how there's a little brown yeah. in it? A little darkness. I can't. And her colors are really varied. So, really. They are. They, like I'm saying, if you're looking for something like that water green. or grass or yeah. trees, they are, they are beautiful. So I can't say it's exactly like whiskey, but that is what I'm going to put down as mm -hmm. it's as its Closest. conversion. But a bee or a sunflower, this this gold is gorgeous. Um, then the other one, there's two reds. This is Antique Santa. This is like Cupid. Um, I don't know if it's, it's doing not, it. It looks like it's coming across more brown than it is mm -hmm. red. Yeah, that's not it at mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. But that's the hard part about this stuff. Yeah. But you'll see them all. I've been sharing as I go. But the Antique Santa is so great for a darker red. Then she has an old red barn. That's what this barn is, is that in. One that? Yeah, and, and I wanted something that was a little bit... You could have used the same Santa one. But I liked that it was muted. And it's funny because it has a little bit of a... Purplish. Purplish. Mm -hmm. But then when you get it away from you, it looks more. It, dark it looks reddish. like that brick red, yes, but, but brick. muted. Yeah. Like it looks like brick. Mm -hmm. Weeks Dye Works brick. Uh, just muted. So I'm. It's been really fun learning with them. The other one that I would say is oat milk. That's. I've been using that in place of grits. Oh, okay. Um, it's, a, I think, a little creamier than, than Grits. Grits still has a white, but you can see it uh, in the quilt block. So I've been using that for Grits. I love that for water. This she actually named Dalla Blue for the horse. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, so there's, there's Dalla Blue, mm -hmm. and then this is Country Blue. Yeah. Now, because I was up there and I saw them, this one. It's more of a Simply colonial. Sage. This yeah. is mine. Yeah. <laughs> this is that the colonial like blue that yeah. will be going on something. Yeah. So it's it's not part of this design, the two mm -hmm. blues. But if you need the trees, these are phenomenal. So one is the grass, but the one I love the most, I think, is tall pines. Um, yeah. Again, I'll, I'll try and take a picture today since I've pulled off the ones that I've actually used. 
Um, but that's just been kind of fun. Pretty. And I do love wheat. So if you're looking for like five where you could do it, I would say oat milk, wheat, the red for Sant antique Santa. Um, I love the gold. She has a new one out. And I'll jump on that at the same time. She she did some dyed fabric. Oh. And I happen to, I'm not a big pink person, mm -mm. but it, to me it's hard to find a toned down muted pink for Valentine's Day when I do models. So she just put out Grandma's Pearls, which oh yeah has a match. And they're just a super soft, I don't, it's the light. Yeah, it is. Let's see if I can, there you go. There it is. Super soft pink. Now, I don't know if I can make that. That's the, the that's the house. Um, either way, yeah, right? She's, pretty. she's, it's, so I'm excited to try that for some Valentine's. She's, um. Right now selling off of Facebook. Oh. So she shares with you what she's dyed and you just do a simple like our Brick City me please. And we'll make sure that and we I, put her on our notes. Yeah. And um, her name's Cindy and you just join Farmhouse Flossies on Facebook. She's on Instagram as the same and they are building her website oh. as we speak. So that is Cindy at Farmhouse Flossies and that will be the Swedish sampler. Cool. When it when Whenever it's it done. Is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. When I mean, when I went to Michigan, the first thing my aunt gave me was a dollar horse coffee mug. Oh. I mean, and she's got them all in her chemist. So it's just, like I said, some things you stitch, you stitch because you love them because they're personal. Sure. So yeah. all those Swedish Scandinavian. <laughs> 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 um, so yeah, that's it. I mean, I've been trying to get that one finished so she knows what to dye. Um, whips, as far as whips goes, I haven't really done, I only, ha I only, after finishing those two, yes. I was down to three, <laughs> and this was one of them, and this is the Prairie Schooler that we were stitching for, um, Prairie Schooler that. Saturday, oh, and Ginger, right. and Ginger's birthday, right, and it's Christmas Village, and so I've been working on, uh, the trees, oh there's a ton of trees, and then I started down below on the house, uh, kind of outlining it because I have a, I actually have a retreat next weekend, Brick City Retreat. Oh, yeah. Oh, a three, a three day. day? Yeah. Jeez, they seem like they're coming faster I know, right now. I know. Um, so I kind of saved the house on the bottom to do some yeah. fill in. But I've got a pretty good chunk of the trees done. Um, so it's going pretty good. I, I like it. It's I did it on a 32 count silver mist, it's a, it's which is a great again. Yeah. yeah. I wanted, again, the white to show because there's a snowman on there. Yeah, I thought he would stand out pretty well, at least on. And he does in person more than there. I just love it so much. Yeah. I, I, I today, since I know we're doing this and then I'm going to drive home, Randy will do it, and then we're going to go to dinner, I told myself tonight I'm just going to wind because I, I can't stand it anymore. I can't, I can't stand. Yeah. Summer releases are done. They're done. They're, They're done. They're in a spot Ooh, where you can. Four. Yeah. Right? Uh huh. Four summer releases, mm -hmm. unless I finish the Swedish sampler, and mm -hmm. I don't know that I can do it. So, four summer releases, mm -hmm. and um, it's a my time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's, and uh, I'm And I know I'm there. starting at the bottom, so is this the bottom house? I think so. Yes. Okay, so I'll be starting in here. Yep. Okay. I should be starting. So, I'm going to wind it, and I right don't here. even know if I have my fabric, but I think I do. Yep. I think you did. Did I pick vintage country milk? I don't remember. I don't remember. I feel like I'm so boring compared to you. I've got the blues and the grays, and I love this. Uh, um, and then I have a start and, and a little bit of a finish, I guess I would say. This is... You're done? You, oh, look at you last night. This is the <gasps> sow that Peter and I... You might have to double it. That Peter and I are doing, and it's oh, the it's drawn so thread. Simply, and it's this piece... Whoops, wrong side. Over here, and it's going to be I'm all four. It. Yeah, you can do it better than me. Uh, all four of the simply seasonal drawn threads. So it's I started with yeah. simply winter, uh, simply spring, simply summer, and then simply autumn. And mine, we Peter and I did a little uh, 
Instagram Live a while back to talk about how we're doing them a little bit different. This, I started like with winter, and this is my winter. I'm not doing the alphabet. What we're doing is I'm just doing the name and the house. So winter's done. But if you look at the chart, and I don't think I brought winter, it's a little different because looking at the chart, let me see if I can show the front, you'll see that there's alphabets. This yeah. is the spring one. So you have to kind of um, change things around a little bit, winter being the most. Because okay. typically winter only had two stories. Ah. And so I had to add a story okay, to in cover it for to the cover up for the alphabet. And it worked I out. I didn't think it was going to, but Peter kept telling me it will work, it will work. And it did. I love so what it. happened is I extended the uh, story, added a story, and then I had enough to do the smoke coming out of the chimney. So are you doing... So the is this spring. is going to be your top. Uh -huh. So you're going winter, spring, summer, yep. fall. Yep. Okay. So okay. spring, this is spring. It will be next. All right. And I'll start on it probably tonight. And so spring will start like here. You'll leave a gap. Yeah, I'll leave a gap. Okay. And then now Peter's doing his different. He's okay. doing two on the top. He's got a words that he has in between them. Uh, mm -hmm. And then he's doing two on the bottom. So we're going to see him somewhere yeah. soon. Yeah. So he's probably, um, we'll probably do another Instagram live maybe in a week or two just to show our progress. Yeah. Um, but I, it, I've always wanted to do these. And last year sometime, I think I mentioned to Peter, I've always wanted to do these drawn threads. And he said, well, let's do them. I'd like to do them. Yeah. So we scheduled it and we started that. When did we start that? Oh, on my birthday. Yeah, I was going to say, it was April. just a couple of days ago. Yeah, a couple of days so, and yet you have a finish. They go fast. It goes fast. It really does. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, let's see. Those are all my lips. Uh, I only have the two that I've worked on. So, what about a haul? Yeah, or, um, let's see, starts. Yeah, haul. All right. Go ahead. Um, okay. Yep. Well, when you went to, when, when Linda went to the Brick City half off sale, they had some of our favorite of all time grandma's stuffing. So uh, she picked me up, I don't know, what is it, a fat half? A, a fat, fat quarter. something, a fat quarter, yep. 32 Lugana grandma's stuffing. Bit more and factory. I do not know that you it will ever it. see it. Beautiful yellow. Um, it's like a creamy, creamy golden yellow yeah unfortunately it's, it's by Fortnite fabrics and we uh, no longer get them um but i got her a fat quarter and i got to remember quarter. what we stitched on before um but oh, i had so started pretty. the uh oh gosh the one that i ditched the stitch the tisket a tasket oh uh, yeah i had started to get a tasket because of the blues and everything but i really was struggling with that so i put it aside yeah. and i put it in with a Plum Street that I thought I would start, um, but I haven't. But anyway, yeah, yeah I love beautiful it. Beautiful fabric. It's, it's really pretty. It beautiful. does not do it justice. Yeah. And then I have, um, oh. Linda had this, the drawn thread. Yeah, you'll notice how old it is probably by the price on it. <laughs> <laughs> right. As I was, and it's got everything in it. Yeah. As I was going um, through my drawn thread, uh, when Peter and I were getting ready to do the Instagram, I found a Halloween, which I knew I'd never do. Uh, and I said to Chrissy, I've got a Halloween thing here, and I bet you would like it. And I'm not sure what fabric, it, but it's got fabric in it. It looks, it like, looks it's, like it's Ada. Yeah, it looks like it's Ada or mushroom. Yeah, it's, like it's just, Ada, and it might be dirty. Yeah. Yeah. So it's probably She don't mean literally dirty, like, <laughs> like that dirty yeah. linen, dirty yeah. khaki, yeah. whatever it's called. So yeah. I thought she would like that. I I, it, it's really cute. It's a 16 count dirty Ada. Oh, there you go. I marked it. 15 count? No, 16. Oh, 16 count. Okay. Which is 32. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm excited. Yeah. I'll get that back in there. So that was a, a treat from Miss mm -hmm. Linda. And then when she was at Shepherd's Bush, of course, she was given directions to make sure she was sharing photos with me, but she shared the uh, Halloween Prairie Schoolers that were uh, models. models up there. And holy cow. And I had some of Prairie Schoolers small I think I had one of their when witches go riding, and I have a couple of the small ones. Um, 
but I, I didn't have oh, All Hallows Eve. It does have their conversion. Oh, <gasps> it does. Yeah. Ooh. I thought so. Good, good. Ooh, that's even better. It's right there. Yeah. So I have prairie schoolers all the way from Shepherd's Oh, I totally got this convert. Yeah. Okay. I had taken pictures of them, and then I realized when I got home, and I put them in a bag, and I never <sighs> reopened the bag. And as I was going through mine, I realized I didn't get a conversion for one, so I called Shepherd's Bush. They are, I'm telling you, they are wonderful. Um, I called him and said, I was in last week. I, I told her which chart that I had bought. And I said, was it supposed to have a conversion? She says, oh, yeah. She says, I didn't get one. She took a picture of it and texted it to me. It's amazing. I mean, it was just, just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that was, I mean, I bought some antiques. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I bought <laughs> that a while ago. Yeah, you did. Um, I got fabric for model stitcher. Mm -hmm. That's it for me, I think. All right. Well, let's see here. Oh, I, that's a great color. Isn't that pretty? Yes. I've never yes. had any of her linen, but somebody had mentioned Who's her. It this is Cedar River. Cedar River. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. And I've never had any of oh. her linen, so I thought, well, I'm going to get, she had some of it, and it's Tefra. And I've heard, it may have been Brenda and Laura. I think it was yes. Brenda and Laura talk about this. And... I love the color, and again, it's not coming out, but nope. it's a really pretty lightish brown. Yeah. No, nope, it's not. Lighting it's is very, color. very pretty. It's very really pretty. And it's got a hint of green in it. Yep. Uh, really, really pretty. Yeah. Oh, nice. I, I don't know that I've ever I've actually never, seen her fabric. No, I have not person. in person. I had not either, and I thought, I'm just going to buy some to see how I like it, and I love the color, yeah. so, yeah. Linen and design. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. And I am in the Fabric of the Month from Barefoot, or Fabric of the Quarter, excuse me, from Barefoot Needle Arts. And this was the Fabric of the Quarter, and it's a greenish, it's called Mojito. Mojito. Yeah, it's really mm. a pretty green. Yeah, that's blue. Oh, like a, I know it does. No, this is like sherbet green. Yes, exactly. Sherbet, lime sherbet, lime sherbet yep. mottled with a little lightness in mm -hmm. it. Real pretty. Mm -hmm. Love oh, it. yeah. Oh, I wish they could see it. I know. If you can see it, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> really, really pretty. Um, okay, then I'll start with What this. are you going to stitch on this? I don't know. It's lime sherbet. I know. <laughs> I'm I know. waiting to see. Yeah. Because to me, it would be cool Halloween. And, and I don't really stitch Halloween. No. But yeah, but even if I'm going to get it. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. You know what? Santa would be pretty on it. Yeah. It's uh, sometimes you just oh, never know. You know what? But I do have something that I was looking for a light green for a Colorado cross stitcher showed years ago. This I'll have to get it out. I'll okay. show it on the next one. I think it'd be perfect for that. Okay. With red. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think a red would be great off of this. Yeah. And it's Cupid red. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna look at this. Let's just check this out here. Is this the Brick Santa one? Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. Antique Santa. Yeah. Yeah, See, that's, that's real pretty, pretty on that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. Yep. Um, and then this would be uh, our stop at Pine Needles in Salt Lake City. I saw this on the wall. What I did is ah. I printed up these models because you're going to see such a difference with the Shepherd's Bush ones compared to just the charts yeah. that I bought. But this is a uh, Tra-La-La. And I saw it on the wall, too, and oh, my gosh. I know. I, yeah. So it is so cute. In fact, cute. you messaged me, and you said, that's like, Santa. That Santa is amazing, and he just doesn't no. look it on here. No. Again, the models sell. So, really, really. Yeah. Uh, and that frame that they yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. And especially at Shepherd's Bush with all the children's those mats. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I bought, I haven't bought a Shepherd's Bush kit in a long time. But, and, and it's going to be hard to see this. I don't know if you can, if that will, if, Okay, what's the name of it? This is uh, Three Ships. I three saw Three Ships from Sailing In. It's a kit. Oh, look at that. Shepherd's Bush. That. So it has everything. Wow. Now, what linen are they using in today's I world? I don't know what this is on. I haven't uh, even opened it up, but it was gorgeous. So, okay, now wait a minute. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Linda. Yes. Yes, Linda. <laughs> so I had when I'm stitching the toy gatherer. Yes. That's what we're gonna do together. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. what we need to yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I had 
my mom had uh, during our shepherd's bush days mm -hmm. back, for 30 back years in the day, ago yeah um and when we did the with the ones behind no winter gatherer and something but anyways we, yep. we took Yuletide the classes and and when her and i yes you'll tie to winter tide and my mom and i took the classes and she did the classes and diane was working working there. and the owner okay so then my mom was always way ahead because I had toddlers then. So she started ordering custom mats. She also found some guy to do some other custom mats. But anyways, they came shipped in the most unique oh, way. Yeah. But I think my mom may have ordered, like put in one order and then got them all. Yeah. Well, we didn't find them until at some point we had sold off some of her shepherd's bush. Me knowing I wasn't going to stitch many of what she had. I reframed some of what she had so it was in more current. And all of a sudden, a, a friend of mine contacted me the other day and her aunt wanted to sell some of hers. And I was like, let me go to the closet, find the mats, let me see if you have any of this, right. because then I would be more inclined because I it. have everything. And one of them specifically was the toy gap. Yeah. And I called up Linda, I'm like, holy crap, she had it. So I bought uh, two of them that I have mats for and the toy gatherer to me oh, is, is my one i i just yeah. want to do and i'm a little afraid i mean it's been a long time it's been a while since i've done a big shepherd's bush too uh -huh. it's been so a while. we'll just tread down that path together well i have to tell you one of my people that i watch on floss tube and i think i've talked about it before is jane was stitching with jane and julie mm -hmm. and i was going to mention her she all of her shepherd's bush i mean every time i watch her i'm like oh Oh, mm. she loves Shepherd's Bush. Do I not watch her yet? I don't know. Jane? You'll have to watch her. She's oh. really good. Well, they're both really good. Okay. But Jane, of course, with the Shepherd's Bush caught my eye. And this last one, it's her birthday month as well. And she oh. decided for her birthday month that she was only going to stitch on Shepherd's Bush. So oh, she okay. has shown so many oh. beautiful Shepherd's Bush pieces. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so this one is great. It's got... The ships that you would yeah, like yeah. that I can see why it's personal. A fun lady. Mm -hmm. Sheep. Well, it's not to love. It's yeah. always going to have sheep, probably. But. It's beautiful. And ooh, we're going to have to have project bags. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to have all the fun stuff. Yeah. And they give you this floss. And I, I swear to God, it never looks like it's enough. I know. When I got that the first time we did the kit, mm -hmm. when I was I'm like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But, but it was. It, and I don't remember what those were on Yuletide and Winter Tide. They were, they were on the Ivory, Ivory, yeah, yeah, probably thirty-two yeah. Ivory. Yeah. And we did. So, there better, better not be any pulled thread in there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm up for that. We'll yeah. see. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have we'll to get see. it. I haven't even opened it, so we'll have to get All it. All right. Out. Okay. Another shepherd's bush that I bought, and again, I would have never picked up this chart. Um, but the model. Is all stitched on one piece, and I'll see if I can. Oh, look at that! And it's on blue, of course, your fave. But look at that! Okay, so it's Santa's flight. Yes. So again, the model oh, is what yes, sold I it. See. Um, but you know, the cover's pretty stinking. It is. They give it to you in this cutout. It with is. The lows. But I do but like the based one on that. Yeah, I bought it. No, based on this. Yes. Is what I bought it. I love that. And, and you know what? That's, are you going to do that on that same blue you just did, the probably. tiny towel? I think she said that it's on Dublin. But dang, yeah, that would be perfect. It would be. Vintage Stormy Night. Yeah. Yeah. That might be really good. Mm -hmm. So again, another I love that. Shepherd's Bush. Does it say any weird specialty? Anything? I don't think so. No, no. These are just regular Summer stitches. Summer Crosses. Yeah. No biggie. I had a lot of Summer okay. Crosses in this Bent Creek that I just yeah. finished all the snow mm, That's so nice yeah and then this is funny because to look at this which i've seen in the shop um but oh, i haven't seen her so i gotta take a peek too uh -huh. no she hasn't seen these no but look at this. that is cute oh yeah and i remember this you shared a picture of this yeah i did i did <gasps> but look at this it based on this and that's a good, another good one for the gray Yes. The red and the greens are different. The green on the actual. The green. Yeah. yeah. The green on the one on the chart, I mean on the model on the chart, is a limeier green. Yes. And maybe a pinker red, maybe? 
Yes, and then this has this. And this is your basic, yeah, Christmas right. green and, and Christmas red. And yeah. just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And cute. Isn't that cute? Really cute. I'm glad I kept all the pictures. Um, we're fading or whatever. I guess we'll come oh, back once yeah, it does that. Yeah. Um, I'm glad I kept all the pictures. Hello. Are you going to go away? Maybe. There we go. There we go. We're back. Last October, um, Jobber Girl Stitches was at Stitch West and went to Shepherd's Bush. Cutie patootie. Yeah. And I met her. She's really sweet. I know. She's so yeah, cute. she's really sweet. And she shared, and I did a screenshot when she shared it, this that she saw at Shepherd's Bush. Mm. And I thought, oh, i got to have that. I Dang, that is cute. Isn't it cute? Yes. And that looks like a fun... Uh -huh. Fastish stitch. Uh -huh. I like it. So I kept it on my phone thinking I've got to find this when I go. And I saw the model and I couldn't oh. find it. But this is why I couldn't find it. Look oh, at that. It's so, look at it all. I know. I would have never. Oh, it's Marjorie Massey. Yeah, I would not have picked up on uh -uh. that at all. Uh uh. And again, I have the conversion in the Look back. at that. It says winter stitching. Yeah. That's cute. And again, the models, and I know I say this over and over and over, but the models are what sell it. Right. That's so and I, cute. And I told somebody sitting there, I think there's no way I would have found I know, that. I know. Well, I didn't find it. I actually went up to Terry and said, showed her my phone or showed yeah. her. And she said, oh, yeah. She says, I can get it for you. They are so great. You show them something, they run and get it. Yeah. I, mean, I just love that they hang it all up on the brick. Oh, it's their background, and there's very little of it because there's so much stitching. But dang, that's an old blacksmith shop. Yeah, I just there's that's... just it's the history too, but oh. it makes everything look so good. I sat there in one little section, and I told somebody I could sit here all day and just look, look. at mm -hmm. everything, and you still probably wouldn't see it all. I right, mean, it's just amazing. I agree. Okay, now that I love that. That's adorable. that's all I got it. Um, that's all I did. Yeah, I Shepherd's well, Bush. I think I did good. pretty good. Also, you did really good. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't bad. You have some all. new fabric. Yep. Well, I do have. I some wonder if this fabric. would be good for that guy. Oh, look at that. that. Might be. No, oh, that's that ain't might be. That's like. Look at that. Yeah. Look at oh, that. Yeah, that oh yeah, that tefra looks like it would be really pretty on that. Yeah. That's just beautiful. Uh -huh. It's like identical. Uh huh. I wonder what red this calls for. On I know. No, it all. Now it does look a little bit like brick or something because it's it's like a muted red. Uh huh. We just picked this up. And it's brick. It I looked like it she used brick for that red, which that's a good. Yeah. You want to try it? Yeah. Okay. Antique Santa. Here you go. Yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's gonna look good. That's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Okay. There Wonderful. You Thank that's, you. I like that. Cool. And actually. Oh, yeah, no, not a brown. But how about the the gold looks like it, too? I'm not sure. What's it called for? I'm looking. Well, I don't know. What is the heart? Maybe it's there? not as bright. But that's oh, not I'm bright thinking. on there. Mm -mm. Look at that. That is not, that's not bright. No, it isn't. So, oh, I can't tell. Both deer, all stars. Schneckly. Oh, Schneckly. Oh, Schneckly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's a, it's, it's actually, Schneckly is like a dirty gold. So, yeah. I mean, if you want to. Okay, sure. Yeah, let's try it and see how it goes. I mean, you got 10 yards. It'll be good to go. Oh, yeah. It's like. not going to take that but much. It's not very it's so big pretty. at all. It is. Yeah. Cool. And, and really, I mean, then the other ones, they probably, so that's fun. Well, the other day when I was in the shop, you and I both bought this, I think. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, release, market yeah. release, but I've got the fabric. Oh, is that the call she for? She has the fabric. Oh. It's a picture of this plus Nocturne. Which, Nocturne, which I do have. Oh, I'm do stitching you? on it. I think, what am I stitching on? I'm stitching on something I think with Sweet Chaos Stitcher, maybe? I don't know. Something. I don't know. I don't know if it's our Wacky Witches and Stitches. Okay. There it is. This yeah, is it's, the release uh, from Market this year from Praiseworthy Stitches uh, Sleigh Ride, and it called for Nocturne. And picture this plus, which is sometimes hard to get, and Jean had it, so I went ahead and just grabbed it. It's funny how the dark ones show up. I know. 
but the, the light, the light models and the greens yeah. just don't because that's like perfect. Well, I hope your eyes can see this good. Oh, I know. I wish you well on that. <laughs> I know. If it's the one I'm doing wacky witches Is and it stitches on. Time with it? A little bit. Yeah. Like it, I, we're making it. We made it through on yep. it. I'm going to put that back in. Yeah. I'll, I'll get it right back in, in later. Right. Um, I did want to mention um, a re blah, 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 blah. this. Then I'm going to start another stitch sound. along. Another stitch uh -huh. along. A and this is one. a stitch along with Missy and Joy, Carolina Stitchers, that they had mentioned. And Missy it's Timberlake. Missy Timberlake from Two Needles Pulling Thread. Mm -hmm. And it's called, let me see what, Building Block Sal. Yep. And it was to find any chart, a uh, group of charts, uh, blocks to stitch. And Joy actually pulled this out and showed it. And it's Summer Snapperland. And I grabbed this off just to show because I'm going with something very similar to that in color. There you are. And it is, is a... It's a beautiful blue. It's not a pretty blue. Isn't that Barefoot Needle Arts It's too? Barefoot Needle Arts. And I, I think I saw that at the shop. I think this yes. came from Market. It's a Barefoot Needle Arts and it is Sea Mist. I do love Sea Mist. Yeah. I, I, I gotta try something. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. That starts May first. Now it's it's definitely a little more aqua than what you're seeing when you is. say it's, yeah. it's definitely it's more, more the color of but it, that's gonna be beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fun. I pull I think I've pulled all the fibers. I've gotta look, but again it starts in a couple days. Nope, not gonna come. But it's so funny because mm, she showed so pretty summer snapper land and I went, Oh, I know I have a bunch of those. Do I have summer? And I did. It's too bad. I, I mean, I they're know. both barefoot needle arts, and they both are. <sighs> yeah, just a frustrating. Barefoot needle arts. I love their fabric. It's really pretty, and it's very soft. Yep, very soft. After that, and I don't know when, but this is definitely has to be a start. Certainly, it does because you've got the other two done. I yeah, and I talked to Debbie when I was in oh, Utah, okay. mm -hmm. and because I had seen Snug that Harbor. she had bought it, Snug Harbor Crafts, and. This is American Welcome. What, what are you? Are you? Are I you don't chewing know. on your hand? It looks like it does. It's something going on, and I don't know about. It looks like it doesn't. I don't know. I guess it's taking them in and out and putting them in and out of things. I don't know. My Oscar the cat, like your Oscar cat, he likes to eat paper. Uh huh. So I don't get it. I I I, I, I bought one of the things I got most recently was out for out on our lanai that kind of has taken on a bunch of different forms. Oh, yeah, yeah. But um, I, I got a second dining room table, and I'll explain that at another time. But either way, you've got the country store going on down on one end that I'm working at. And then the other end, I was tired of my dining room table being filled with, like, the releases and what I'm working on and where I'm printing. And um, anyway, so I got an, an older dining room table that was sturdy as heck. And it's out there, and he lives out on that one. Oh, really? You know? Oh, he loves it out there. So he gets all over the table and he lays on my Lunger burgers uh -huh. and he, I've shared pictures of him uh -huh. helping me with patterns. But then I come out in the morning and he, I'm like, I'm like, dude, I know this kind of so that, but, but okay. Yeah. But yeah, they, he eats paper. Yeah. But. but that's American Welcome. It's kind of the cohort to uh, Live on Little. It's a little bit smaller though. What are the three? Live on Little. Just, just two. Live oh, on just, Little. Mm -hmm. And, and this? this one. Yeah. Oh. I think the ones you're thinking about thinking are the, of? there's a patriotic set that oh. are together. Yeah. Okay. But this is the one where I found and I posted on Instagram this new fabric from uh, uh, Rogue. Rogue. Not Rogue. Rogue I'm fabric. Ever. Yeah, but mm -hmm. it's, I can't think of the name. Atomic Ranch. Oh, Atomic, Atomic, Atomic Ranch. Atomic Which Ranch is, is that Stitch Con. They're all over. But yes. Yeah. Golden Harvest, and I think that's going to be so pretty. It is. It's a little blues. bit. It's a yeah. little bit yellowy. A little bit, um, a, a tad bit darker than Grandma's stuffing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a nice color. And I think the white will show and the, and the blue will show, so it's I'm really going to be anxious. Pretty. And I think that I saw Debbie had gotten her stuff too soft. Might message her and say, mm, Who, hey, Jim it's showing first, up. maybe? Oh, it is showing up, yeah. It is showing up. That's that's nice. Yeah, so you got, got some nice fabric. I did. Yeah, I did. Really have. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
So, um, let me see. Did we forget anything? Oh, I did want to mention um, floss tubes, a couple of floss tubers. Mm -hmm. uh, every Sunday night for me is watching Pam and Steph. And a couple of weeks ago, they do their silver and gold. And silver mm -hmm. and gold is their newer floss tuber and the older. And two of the Florida floss tubers got mentioned, which are cool. Mm -hmm. um, our friend Christy that lives up in the Panhandle, Hi, she's Christy on Jen. Pine Barren. Christy Jinx. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Jody was simply stitching Ocala. She also got mentioned. So that was kind of cool to see. Which I think mentioned. she was just at the Jeanette Douglas she one, was. correct? She yeah. was. At the, and so was Christy. And Chris Leedy. Chris, and Chris Leedy. <laughs> yeah, we did were, you see that old picture yeah. of the group? 95 women in this group of picture. And I'm like, I'm going to find Chris Leedy. <laughs> so I'm, I zoomed it up. And I'm mm -hmm. going. And I, I saw Christy Jenks. I saw mm -hmm. all, you know, uh, stitching uh, all of it. And then all of a sudden, you see this orange hat. Oh. And, you know, Chris Lee always wears it. I'm, I'm pretty confident. Was that you, Chris? <laughs> she was in the back, but you see this orange hat. <laughs> and I'm like, that's her. Yeah, that. She totally. got a big old smile on her face. Yeah. <laughs> so that was kind of neat. They're doing a lot of the mentioning of floss tubers before StitchCon, which was cool. Yeah. Um, stitching with Jane and Julie, I talked about mm -hmm. um, with her Shepherd's Bush stuff. Which I got to watch cool. that. You got to watch that. Um, and two needles pulling thread. I just want to say thank you to Missy for mentioning that she had watched my solo one that I did. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for mentioning that. And let's just. I mean, congratulations to her and Kathy oh, for the library stitcher retreat. A, yep, yep. Holy cow! What a there, it looks beautifully done. It, they did an amazing. Them and the, I know there was a bunch of people that that were all involved, but what a great retreat it looked like. I it, mean, it, I mean, it really did. For their first retreat, they, it looks like it was high top top class. Yep. Like they literally had some some comedy in there. Some mm -hmm. I mean, just fun, okay. fun, fun. And I mean, I was honored to be one of the you yeah. know those that I did the trunk show for them, and uh, yeah. Congratulations, ladies, because that's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, I'm sure they're probably like this. <laughs> I'm glad it's over. Right. Probably taking a long break. Oh, yeah. yes. And happy anniversary to Missy and her husband. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's a hoot to watch. I love when oh, he gets I know. on Instagram. Yeah, oh, I do too. I do too. I think that's it. I mentioned um, Burn Stitches. If you want to see a really, really thorough uh, Stitch West, she, she went through everything. She did a great job. And plans. Mm. Well, you well, got yeah. I'm doing good. I'm doing good because I'm waiting on one thing to come in. So summer releases, I'll be doing that kind of more during the day and getting things out to shops probably by next week with the four new releases. And then um, I am going to work on finishing up the Swedish sampler because I'm basically down to some mortar in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not not mm -hmm. much else. So do you think you'll release that? I don't know if I could. I mean, I'm, I'm I, the border, I have to like, I can't just jump. No. So I am actually, it's not too bad. Like it's not too bad, but it takes a little bit, but it's an easy one. It's easy to do while I'm watching. So there's a chance I could have it, have it done. I have the cover built and this time because it was something more special, I also created floss drops that I would purchase and business card. Uh -huh. and I thought that would be fun. It's mm -hmm. a folk art type. It's it's cool. So I'm, I'm ready to go if, in fact, I get it finished and could get it framed. Um, and other than that, I want to go back to one. I want to wrap my floss for the Christmas Prairie Schooler Christmas Village oh. because I miss my Saturday nights. I know. I do and I want to get done but I'm I'm to that point. Summer releases are done and actually even some fall mm -hmm. are done. Mm -hmm. So I think I, I think I'm going to hone in and I think it's best for me to pick. I'll do this and I'll get a start on Christmas Village but I want to finish my Brenda Keys I went to church sampler. I'm I like that. I'm anxious for you to release one in particular that's coming out. This time? Oh yeah. <laughs> And I think I, I really love stitching it. It was fun. And yeah. I think it's going to be cool. It's fun for some. Um, and then, like I said, I have the retreat next week. You weekend. have two. Just so you know, I think that's funny. Oh, I do. You model stitch two of my summer <laughs> yeah. releases. I'm yeah. like, how did that happen? <laughs> but there's only <laughs> four. So you stitched 50%. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. That was fun. 
Yeah. Um, next weekend I have the retreat at Brook City, mm -hmm. and then you're going to be getting ready to head out in a couple of weeks. Now, you're yeah. going to do another floss too. Yes, I will jump in, and once once the shops have their newsletter, then I will jump in and I will do just a release. solo release Yeah, a floss tube for y'all. Yeah. And then that, and then, then that'll get it to shops, and then we'll see how it goes. And um, after your trip, then we'll be really concentrating on StitchCon. It is, and we kind of got our, yeah. you know how it goes. We yeah. got our ideas We're for your, our bags. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little different because we've almost pulled several tables. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's like I don't know which one I belong to, but it doesn't matter. It's just a big group. Yeah. Um, I'm getting excited to see the the whole group from Keepsakes too. I want to start saving my pennies for there. Maybe this year I'll find my gift card I won the first year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 50 bucks just somewhere laying around. <laughs> yeah, it'll be good. I, I have some friends coming, uh, Carla from North Georgia that I haven't seen in a while. She and I were in banking together back in the day and discovered that we both stitched. Mm -hmm. And she and her, I think her sisters are going to be there, so that'll be and fun. And I have, uh, we could not believe it, but... When I was sitting in um, Lake Junaleska last October with Tammy Blaylock and Laura and Amanda and that group um, that I met, they all said, eh, let's try and get in, what's StitchCon? Let's try and get in StitchCon. So they got on the wait list. I'll be darned if they didn't get in. They were 180 down. The wow, list. they were down far. So of, I don't, not all of them got like, can go because they had made other plans. Sure, that's a long ways away. Yeah, well, I mean, they didn't, they just never thought they'd get in. Uh -huh. So, uh, but we do have um, a few of them, and there's some, one of the ladies there is about ready to launch her Etsy business, oh. a, a friend of ours, and you're okay. gonna, you're gonna like the name of it. Um, so I'm, and you may uh, meet her at Stitch Florida. Oh, see. good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's coming up in July. That's coming up. And then my friend Diane, she didn't think she was going to get into StitchCon. Yeah. But she never even told me she signed up until later because she assumed that she would never get right. in. And she got noticed, gosh, a couple months ago that she got and in. And you sure you don't want fly? No, I think I'm good on flying. For I think she's done with flying. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, even flying the way we did was wonderful. I just am not a real good flyer. Yeah. I just, it's, yeah. I was so happy for Randy, and this is just off the thing. You know, he got to go to his brother moved down, his right. twin brother, and as I have people that I go do stuff with, and he works from home. So there's, and then we have Philip, and our night is our yeah, night, yeah. and we just don't. Our our community is busy with lots of things you could go do. We just uh, we're just unable to do so. But his brother moved down not, not too long ago, and they got to go to a Tigers baseball game. Mm -hmm. And so they're finally able to do some things together. And we don't need to do a lot. Randy and I, you know, we just don't. But, it, yeah, it was really, it was nice to see him get to go do something. Because I always feel like I'm getting off now and going mm -hmm. to do things. So it was kind of, he did a trip out to Vegas for work and got to go to a hockey game. Mm. And then literally got home, turned around, and on Monday was driving over to Tampa and went to a, a, watch the Tigers play, Detroit Tigers, and they uh, won 7-0. to zero, So it was a good game. But, yeah, that was, that's that was another few things that kind of, I feel like we were busy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But. Always. So. All right. I, I think that's I it. I think that's it. I think we've gone long enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh yeah, I'm going to do the church thing, and then I'll probably try and finish some patriotic stitching. Cool. And you got a lot you got oh, to do. You need yeah. to up, you got to up to, your wits, man. Yeah I, yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to <laughs> in the next month. <laughs> okay, so I don't know when we're back again, but before then, I'll do a quickie yep. with my summer releases, and then I, um, we'll see. What does that put us in? May? Uh, Yeah. And, and you have a retreat next weekend, I so you're coming to weekend. me next. I'm coming to you next. So I think somewhere beginning of May. Yeah. We'll get one in Two there. weeks. We should be mm -hmm. able to, It'll be right before it'll you It'll be leave. right before I go, yeah. and then we'll do one when I get back. Right. That should work out. And then, yeah. So, okay. Well, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. A hundred episodes in the book, and we look forward to a hundred more. Yeah. <laughs> 
And uh, other than that, we wish you a, a blessed week. Have a great time. And as usual, don't, don't forget, forget to, to floss. floss. Bye, guys. Bye.